So we're here with Mark, the new singer of Act <laughs> What's up? And uh, yesterday was uh, the, your first concert in Bolivia. Huh? Yes. How did you like it? Uh, we enjoyed it quite a bit. I mean, the fans are just crazy. Yeah? You saw it. <laughs> Man, they get into it. I'm telling you. <laughs> really, really good time. And um, since we're at around 3,700 uh, meters, Ooh. how have you been uh, adjusting to the altitude? Slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly. We, luckily, we uh, we got away with it last night. But it takes about 48 hours to get used to the altitude, so we're here. We didn't have that luxury. Uh, but we pulled it off. We had some oxygen on stage. Uh, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. And you can see the big tank sitting next, back to the, next to the drums last night. So, but uh, there was a mask that you had oh, to Oh, yeah. Yeah, if we needed it, it was there. So I hit it a couple of times. Wow. They said, don't exert yourself for the first 24 hours. Yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> hey, you guys are really energetic. Do what you got to do. <laughs> and uh, did you have to prepare yourselves uh, before uh, doing these concerts? Like, uh, did you have to take medicine? For the altitude? Like yeah. No, no, not really. That was it. We took, They gave us uh, a couple of pills yesterday. Yeah. To help with it, and then uh, everybody tells you to drink the Coca Tea. And that's supposed Did to help. Did you have it? Some? I had some the night before. I didn't touch it yesterday. <laughs> some of the guys were. I mean, I'm, I'm not going there. <laughs> There's a reason why it's illegal in the states. <laughs> it's not that bad, actually. No, it's not. <laughs> so, um, have you guys uh, heard the uh, news about Herman? He's uh, still in the hospital. He's he's doing well. Um, so hopefully they're, we're, they're making arrangements to fly him back to Germany, uh, but he can't really fly until his lung is yes. uh, secured. Well, he had four broken ribs and a punctured lung. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, he took a bad fall. So what, what happened? He just uh, he just fell on the stage? There was a couple of columns on the stage, these big black columns, and uh, he was in front of one of them. Mike, his mic stand was, and I guess when he backed up, one of his, his right foot caught the side of the column, okay. and then his other foot got tangled in the cord, oh, and then he, he couldn't do anything. He went over back and, of course, like a true guitar player, tried to save the guitar, <laughs> break the neck and broke his ribs instead. Oh, jeez. Yep. So, it's what it is. But uh, he, he's he's a trooper. He'll pull through it. I mean, he, fi he finished the show that night. I don't know how he did that. Yeah, yeah. I but, heard about that. You know, we've all been injured on stage before and had to get through it. It's not easy, but you just do it full of adrenaline, so yeah. you don't feel the pain until after it's over. Yeah. And uh, how, how has it been uh, adjusting to just playing with one guitar? Um, it just sounds totally different, but it, it's, you know, they played four piece a lot in the 90s yeah. with just four, so it's not something new for except. Um, it's not quite the same, but it's, it's, there's nothing wrong with it either, you know, mm -hmm. but I miss Herman. I darn sure miss him, I'm, you know, and I'm sure the crowd does too. So. Yeah. And um, so, um, how was the? Uh, since I'm from Canada, uh, I was wondering how was the Montreal show? They were great. We did, <laughs> all the shows we did in Canada were great. Yeah. Yeah. The fans were reacting really. Oh uh, yeah. Powerfully. Yeah. A lot, a lot, great turnout and lots of killer fans. Good, good time. And, yeah, uh, look forward to get back to Canada next year. So. Oh, yeah, you guys are going to come yeah, back? Yeah, we spoke to the promoter, and uh, they were very happy, so uh, looks like we'll be doing some extensive tour in Canada next year. Cool, that's great. And um, speaking of uh, Canadian metal, uh, <laughs> um, did you see, uh, I mean, uh, Accept is kind of like, uh, I know you haven't been in Accept for too long, but it's kind of like Anvil, uh, you know, from uh, studying yeah. in the 70s and having the biggest albums in the, the 80s. Uh, did you see the documentary? Of course. And what did, what did you think about that? <laughs> I thought it was really cool. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm, we were on the same label back in those days. T -T oh, yeah? <laughs> Anvil, Metallica, Raven, all those guys. We were all on Megaforce. So it was like, we were, it was like one big family back then. So you really felt that? Yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I actually got to see those guys, too, and, uh, uh, when they were on that metal show. I was in the audience that night doing the uh, Where Are They Now thing. Oh. So we were, I could see them play that night too. It was pretty cool. cool. The hard rock in Manhattan. And uh, how did you uh, how did you meet uh, with the, with Accent? How did it... Um... Just by chance. 
Okay. It's really just by chance. They just happen to be in a studio in New Jersey. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're jamming, throwing some stuff around. And the engineer there said, why don't you give this guy Mark, my friend Mark a call, because he's not far from here. He from that city. Okay. And that's really what happened. Wow. I just walked in, I started singing, and they went, hey. Maybe we can do this. Maybe we can put this back together. I mean, I don't even think they were looking for it. <laughs> Once Udo decided he didn't want to do it, it was off the table. Yeah. You know. And uh, do you find it strange to hear your your voice with the the old uh, accent classics? Right. Yes and no. I mean, we we I, we covered accent songs in the early oh, okay. 80s. You know, so I was real familiar with a lot of this stuff. Uh, so it's not something I haven't done before. Yeah. But uh, I enjoy it. I mean, the back cow looks great. You know, I'd sing those songs every night. You couldn't ask for more. You know, it's, it's killer. Mm-hmm. And uh, who came up with the cover for Blood of the Nations? The, the idea of the cover? You know, we all uh, <laughs> kind of put our heads together on that one. The whole idea of that was like, you know, there's, there's no peace without blood. Okay. So, here you go. Freedom isn't free. Yeah. Okay, and uh, that's actually Peter's hand. <laughs> really? <laughs> Once again, Peter the hand model. <laughs> that's Peter's hands on injection all the way. Interesting. <laughs> and uh, what are the next steps for the band now? We finish touring South America. Uh, in June, we go back to Europe, do the festivals. We have some other dates in Germany. Uh, we're going to be playing probably to about the middle of July, and then we we'll call that's going to be the end of the tour, hopefully. We've been on the road since last May. Yeah, that's great. And uh, the next step is we'll go back to the studio. And uh, how, um, how was it uh, to, to tour uh, after so many years? It's, it's an adjustment. <laughs> if you're not doing it on this this level for so many years, I mean, really, since, since the 80s, you know? Yeah, yeah. Were you nervous or...? Uh, apprehensive. I don't know that I was ever nervous. But, you know, over-anxious maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it takes a little getting used to. But, uh, you know, we're all, we're all old road dogs. We, we fall right back into place. <laughs> that's great. Um, so, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Um, finish the interview by saying your five favorite uh, old metal records. <laughs> oh, I know it's hard. Five favorite old metal records, you know. And, oh, you're top and, and everybody, I've, I've been asked that question a lot of times. And really? Every time I answer it, it's five different records. <laughs> okay, for the moment. Old metal. <laughs> See, it's not, some of the stuff isn't necessarily metal. I would say Rainbow Rising. Yeah. That, I think that's one of the best Dio records <laughs> of all time. Uh, the first Black Sabbath album. Highway to Hell. Black and Black, mm-hmm. Judas Priest, Unleashed and Eased. You're approved. <laughs> All right. That's it. Uh, thanks a lot. <laughs>